Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Laughlin, Chief Operating Officer for iProv. I'm also a former creative director, and today we're going to start a new series called Classic Ads, where we give you some simple tips and tricks uh, from the masters of advertising from bygone eras. But before we get into it, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the bell too so you get notifications when we, uh, when we release new videos. Uh, it really helps the channel and it lets us know what you want to see from us next. First up, we're going to look at an ad from the 1950s for the Buick Roadmaster. This ad is really uh, sort of classic uh, luxury car advertising, and really th the trope is still played out. Uh, a lot of things have changed in the luxury car business. It's no longer about comfort. Uh, a lot of it is about performance, but the idea is still the same. Uh, in this ad the, the for the Buick Roadmaster, they have a, a picture of this monumental car, and if you notice, uh, the people that are going to be riding in the car are standing next to the car, and there's actually a chauffeur because the true symbol of success is not only a Buick Roadmaster, it's also having somebody else drive it for you. So, uh, you know, obviously this ad was meant to sort of compete with the other big classic luxury brands of the day, uh, things like Cadillac. And what's interesting about Cadillac and Buick is that they're owned by the same parent company, GM. Uh, and so uh, having two sort of uh, bites at the luxury car market and the top end of uh, you know what people could purchase back then uh, was really important. Uh, also, you, you got to remember when this ad came out. It was the 50s. It was right after World War II when uh, you know people had been giving up so much. Uh, they had newfound wealth uh, and they wanted to spend it on things that made them feel comfortable because they could still remember when things weren't comfortable from the Great Depression and World War II. So. Uh, status symbols, luxury items, they were a big deal back then, especially uh, if you were well healed. What can we learn from this ad? Uh, really simple message that appeals to the vanity of the buyer. Uh, anybody who's going to buy a Buick Roadmaster in the 1950s was trying to send a message to other people uh, in, their, in their strata, in their network. Uh, and also, you know, combining the image with the status message. Uh, you know, the idea that uh, it's a big, comfortable car, and that somebody else is going to drive you around in it. Uh, not only is the car a symbol of success, but it's painting literally a, a, a picture of success with the photograph that goes along with it. Uh, the other thing I'd tell you is most old ads uh, are pretty copy heavy, and for good reason. Uh, they spend a lot of time talking about the benefits that go along with the features, and we'll talk a whole lot more about BBA, benefit-based advertising, in future videos. Anyway, just some really quick tips. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, it helps us know what we need to, uh, to do next to help you run a better business. Uh, and always, if you've got feedback, we'd love to hear it in the comments. Visit iprovonline.com if we can help you with your ads. Thanks.